Deleted by user. Expectations. This one's deep bro. If only it could. There is not enough PP for this move. This actually gave me flashbacks edit. After getting upvoted, I must say that the flashback wasn't in any way to Pokemon XD. Walso specs use struggle. They're the most temperamental things. Hard when you don't want it to be. Soft when you want it to be hard. Sometimes a light breeze make it go off, sometimes it's like trying to start a fire with two wet sticks. That's the most annoying thing. They just don't always cooperate. I can relate, dicks are spiteful cunts. Leaning against the wall at 45 to piss with a random boner. The worst part of having a penis is that you have to share a brain with it. And sometimes it doesn't want to share. So many bad decisions that I refuse to take full responsibility for. As a wise man once said, masturbate before every major decision. Those post-nut clarity comes in handy. Usually comes after a handy for me. Having that tiny drop of pee after you spent a minute trying to avoid it happening. No matter how much you wiggle and dance. The last drop will always go down your pants. It is one of Newton's laws of motion. I thought it was part of Murphy's law. Don't quote me on this, but I heard they wrote this one together. When you finish peeing and the tip is still wet so you give it a gentle flick but some drops still remain so you dab it with a single toilet paper but, instead of the paper soaking up the moisture, scraps of paper stick to your dick. Like when you peel off a price tag but it doesn't come off clean. Then you keep trying to pick it off but keep missing and end up scraping the duck out of your dick. Get a wet piece of TP and wipe it right off. And your dick is wet again. Back to square one. At least then it's wet with water and not piss. He didn't say how he wets the TP. Sometimes when having a poop, you automatically pee and it goes through the little gap between the toilet seat and bowl wetting your underwear and bringing great shame. Then there is also the penis head touching toilet bowl moment. If this happens in a public toilet, the moment can induce suicidal tendencies. Edit, well I knew some people would relate to this but not quite this many. Thanks for the awards you filthy animals. You've never had your penis touch the inside of the toilet seat, have you? That was the question I asked my wife when I was trying to convince her we needed oblong toilets and not round when we were purchasing new toilets for our house. We got oblong toilets. OMFG my roomie friend is a girl with a small toilet and since moving in, I have to hold my dick down to not have it touch the front. Who designs these things? Just shit standing up lol. Simply shit your pants. It's like having a compass that only ever leads me to trouble. Edit, you know folks, Therese something to be said that one of my most upvoted posts is centered around my dick. And that something is appropriate. Thank you kindly for the awards, the comments and all the humor. I hope y'all have a great day. Seriously though, wish it would point to treasure instead. Life is hard enough without a trouble magnet. Hard enough, eh? Having the sudden urge to adjust it every five minutes, especially with jeans, it gets so uncomfortable. I hate it when the seam rides up and essentially creates what feels like the same motion as two lumberjacks using a bandsaw on the underside of your balls, so you flick your leg or do the gentleman's step to undo the damage, but two minutes later it's back. Edit, who would have thought my most upvoted and interacted post would be me talking about my balls being sawn in half by my own clothing. Bless the internet. Edit too, for those asking about the gentleman's step, I dot red dot it. Morning boners when you have to pee. Mine gradually deflates as I pee and it's the most unusually satisfying thing ever. Bro, you're now an X-man and your codename is Penis. This decision cannot be reversed. Yours does not do that? Thought that was common, mine does as well. Constantly knocking things over like lamps and windmills. Street lamps I presume. No, lighthouses on the other side of the Atlantic. It's like involuntarily playing golf and knocking the moon out of orbit. It's hard sometimes. Randomly. Even when not horny. 
why is it always in math class though? From rectangle to a rectangle. Don't be obtuse. The possibility of testicular torsion has gotta be up there. Had one, got surgery to untwist it. Had both balls sewn to sack. The intensely painful recovery week makes you really understand just how much they move around. Even on painkillers, I dreaded each slow walk to the bathroom, calculating the next best move that would result in the least amount of painful ball shuffling. Lucky I got to keep them though. Duck reading this. That hurt to read, had to upvote because ouch. Mine accuses me of beating him. What a dick. Heard has friends with an asshole. No wonder they get along. I heard his friend talking shit behind his back. It's not detachable. Do you really want to find your penis on a blanket and some guy is selling it for $23 but you have to haggle him down to $17 every time you misplace it? I'm so glad you made this reference. When I saw the comment you responded to, that's what I thought of instantly. Sometimes, cum dries in the tip of your dick. So you go to the bathroom like normal, only the blockage has the same effect as holding your thumb over a hose, so your stream is split into two and despite being properly aimed the larger stream is hitting the wall and the lesser stream is hitting your foot, and you adjust your aim to stop hitting the wall. That's the point where the blockage clears, but you're pointed in the wrong direction and also managed to spray the bottom of the lid before you realize your mistake. If you get jumpy during the incident, you bobble your junk around and make an even bigger mess. This description was written so well that I feel like I experienced this and am a woman. As a man I can tell you, that it is extremely accurate too. Bad aim to the toilet seat every once in a while, so to speak. Or the dreaded split stream. LPT, when you pee after sex, sit down, BC half the time there's some jism in your urethra which ups the chance of a split stream coming out you don't want to piss all over the bathroom by accident. I prefer to have it on purpose if I am to pee all over my bathroom. Sometimes you have a good reason, I don't know your life, if it's on purpose then your purpose has been fulfilled and that's a success in my book. Having a small one. Here in law we had a peaceful march this weekend that was for, and I quote, and small dong shame I'd cow to link stuff, but if you go into the Los Angeles subreddit, you'll see a few posts about it with pictures and videos. I support this. If it needs support, it's probably big enough to not be considered a small dong. Getting hard at inconvenient moments like giving a presentation in front of the class and remembering how fat your teacher's ass is. Gym class. Sweatpants. The horror. The one type of pants that you're allowed to wear for gym class and it's tailor-made for maximum tenting. Maximum tenting Lamau. When you're wondering if the dude you're fighting is actually going to grab your dick and twist it. The Ool dick twist. Dude, this is an MMA fight. Twist his dick. Grab his dick and twist it. Wow, what an amazing penis. Wow, what a shitty, ugly penis. Hmm, normal penis I'd say. You, your penis smells like your balls. Wow. I wish every penis smelled as great as your penis. Like look it's the same penis alright quit ducking bothering me about it. Man I also hate cock inspection day. Sitting on a ball accidentally. You must have some really long balls. Give it another 20 years. One man's ball jokes, another's future. Respectful applause.